Okay, I've got a binomial expansion uh, question here, um, and also a cat. Um, yeah, settle down. Uh, both of the formulas that we've been asked to expand have got a one already in them, so I'm going to use the more conventional application of the of the, or the most conventional quoted formula of one plus x. And I always put x in inverted commas because this three over x is our x in this expression, and 3 over 4x will be our x in this. So that's what we substitute. Um, I think that's where students get confused. But let's have a go at this one and see how you get on. Okay, for part A, we've got that x is 3 over x, which means, for example, x squared will be 9 over x squared. Have you got the idea of this x in inverted commas that I use? You also need to write down which might be a help, n is equal to 2. Okay, I can say that 1 plus 3 over x squared is equal to, using the formula, 1 plus 2. This is just going to be x, which is 3 over x, divided by 1, which I'm not going to bother with, plus 2, 1, and then x squared, well, we've done this one already, 9 over x squared, divided by 2 factorial is 2 times 1, which is 2. Again, with these things, don't multiply anything out. Now, if we try to do the next term, what we would get is 2, 1, 0, n, n minus 1, n minus 2. So the whole thing would go to naught, which is what I meant, that because we've got a positive power up here, this will terminate. The series has terminated. Right, it's now a matter of simplification. This 2 will cancel with this 2. So I get 1 plus 2 times 3 over x is 6 over x plus... Well, what we're left with is simply 9 over x squared. And that will be your answer to part A. Now, in part B, we've got to find the first four terms of this expression. OK, we've got n is equal to 6, and we've got x is equal to 3x over 4. It may be easier to write it that way rather than 3 quarters x. So I get... And we've got to do this for the first four terms. OK, so 1 plus 3x over 4 raised to the power 6 will be equal to 1 plus n times x over 1. So this is 6 multiplied by 3x over 4. And I'm not going to bother about the divide by 1 plus n, 6, 5. Now this term is squared, which is 9x squared over 16. Oh, and I forgot to divide by 2 because of 2 factorial underneath. OK, 6 times 5 times 4. That's your n, n minus 1, n minus 2. And now this term cubed which is 27x cubed over 4 times 4 times 4. And this divided also by 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2. OK, it's cancelling time now. We've got a common 2 here, so that goes down to 2, that goes down to 3. 2 goes into the 6 three times. 2 will go with the 6, leaving 3. Then the 3 will go with the 3, leaving 1. One of these 4s will go with that 4. Do you see the advantage of keeping these factors all exposed? I know I multiplied up here. I probably shouldn't have done. I should have left that as 3 times 3 and 4 times 4. It exposes these easily cancelable factors. Our only problem now is sorting out what's left. 
Uh, that's up to your neatness when you do all this cancelling. I have got one plus. I've got a three still on the top, so this is going to be 9x over 2 plus. It's going to be x squared. And I've got 3 times 5, which is 15. 15 times 9 is 135. So we've got 135 on the top and we've got 16 on the bottom. And plus, now in this last term, we've got 5 times 27. Well, that's actually the same constituent parts here. 5 times 3 times 9, 27. So this again, 135 over 16x cubed. And this goes on. It's always worth popping that on, I think. OK, that's the answer to part B. In part C, we've been asked to multiply. We've expanded this and we've expanded that. We've been asked to multiply our expansions together and just find the coefficient of x. And that's a lot of multiplication of terms. Each term here has to be multiplied by each of these terms. So it is well worth sorting out and going through it one by one and checking if the answer is going to generate x. OK, let's start with 1. And I'm going to multiply 1 by all of these terms. 1 times 1, no, that's not an x term. 1 times 9x over 2, yes, that is an x term. So I'm going to say x terms. So 1 times 9x over 2 is... 9x over 2. Going on, 1 times that. No, that's x squared. No, that's x cubed. Right, moving on. So multiplying it by 1, no. The x's cancel. Yes, this does give an x term. Again, I'm not going to be clever about trying to multiply this all out in my head. I'm just going to write it as 6 times 1, 3, 5 x squared over x times 16. And as you can see, that's going to generate an x coefficient. Now this term, no, that's going to generate an over x squared. That's going to get, generate an over x. That's going to generate a, a number. And this will generate one of our terms. And this is going to generate 9 times 1, 3, 5 x cubed on the top and on the bottom 16x squared. So we've got two options now. We can either go down the decimal road and work out the coefficient of all of these or stay in the fractional mode where I suggest you multiply both top and bottom here by 8. So if we go down the fractional mode I get 72x over 16 plus 6 times 1, 3, 5, and this is 810 over 16, x again, plus 9 times 1, 3, 5, which is 1, 2, 1, 5, x over 16. And adding those all up, we get 2097 over 16, x. So the coefficient is equal to 209. 7 over 16. And that's the answer.